Today I have five easy and affordable handmade gift ideas to share with you. Around the holidays, I love to hand make gifts because oftentimes they are appreciated more than what can be bought in store. It's an enjoyable process for me and it's also a great way to save money. The first gift idea I have to share with you are beeswax wraps. If you're not familiar with beeswax wraps, they are an alternative to plastic wrap and we have been using them for years in our home. All you need to make these is 100% cotton fabric, beeswax, and a paintbrush, ideally natural fiber. I made these with some fabric I had left over from some sewing projects and beeswax from our bees. Oftentimes, additional ingredients like pine resin and oils are called for, however, I have found that these work perfectly just by using the beeswax. Start by cutting the fabric to your desired size. To help prevent the edges from fraying, you can use pinking shears, however, I just used fabric scissors. The beeswax will help to seal the edges. I lined a baking sheet with some aluminum foil. Ideally, you want to fully cover it, but I ran out. Melt your beeswax over low heat. I keep a small pot from the thrift store specifically for this because beeswax can be really hard to remove. You can also use a glass jar set in a pot of water to melt the wax. Dip the paintbrush in the wax and brush it over the fabric. The wax is going to soak through to the other side of the fabric as well, so no need to do both sides. Alternatively, you can grate beeswax or use beeswax pastilles, scatter over the fabric, and place in a 200 degree oven for about 10 minutes on that foil lined baking sheet. Use a paintbrush to spread the wax and then allow the sheets to dry. Beeswax dries quite quickly, so after applying the wax, I fanned each piece until dry. You could also hang them on a line, but I just haven't found that to be necessary. Come fall and winter, I get back to knitting and crocheting. I end up doing a lot of quick projects, which means I end up making a lot of dishcloths. They come together super quickly, and this pattern is perfect for beginners. Everyone always appreciates getting these as gifts. I'll leave the full pattern in the description box down below. All you're going to need for this is size 8 needles and worsted weight cotton yarn. Another fun gift to give is homemade Baileys. The ingredients are much better than what you can find in store, and this recipe calls for making your own sweetened condensed milk. Bring a quart of whole milk to a simmer and add a half cup of cane sugar and a half teaspoon of vanilla bean powder or the seeds from one vanilla bean. Simmer over medium low heat, stirring frequently for about 30 minutes. You want to reduce this down to about two cups of condensed milk. Reduce the heat to low and stir in half a cup of heavy cream, two teaspoons of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of instant coffee, a quarter teaspoon of almond extract, and a pinch of salt.
Strain the mixture through a fine mesh strainer and allow it to cool slightly, about 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. Stir in one and a half cups of Irish whiskey. I just used Jameson, but feel free to use something higher quality. Pour into a flip top bottle for a fun gift. Unlike store-bought Baileys, this is not shelf stable. It does need to be stored in the fridge and it will keep for a month at least. I love making beeswax candles, and now that we have our own beeswax to use, it has been even more fun. I love using beeswax for candles because it has a delicate honey scent, and these are non-toxic unlike most candles on the market. Because they have a delicate scent, they're perfect for gifting. For this round of candles, I found some wood wicks to use in place of cotton wicks. If you haven't used a wood wick candle before, they give off a bit of a crackling sound while burning that adds to the ambiance. I use canning jars for most of my candles, but you could recycle some glass jars from something else or find mugs and teacups at a thrift store to use in place. I started by melting my wax over low heat, and I experimented with adhering some dried lavender from the garden with some beeswax to the inside edge of a jar. I will say that this was a bit of a fail. It works much better with white beeswax. Our wax was just a bit too dark to show the lavender. Secure the wicks by dipping the bottom of the wick into some melted wax and pressing them to the bottom of the jar. For some of my jars that are curved at the bottom, I find that they secure a little bit better if you pour just a bit of wax directly into the jar. I choose to leave my candles unscented, but feel free to add in essential oils after the wax is melted before pouring into your jars. Pour the wax into the jars. If you're using cotton wicks or you're worried about your wicks moving, you can set something like chopsticks on either side of the wicks to keep them in place. These make for a beautiful gift and a non-toxic candle option. Throughout gardening season, I dry a lot of my own herbs to use as tea throughout the fall and winter. I have two tea blends to share with you, one with ingredients grown here, the other store-bought. The first tea blend is an orange spice black tea. I used one and a third cups of loose leaf black tea, a third cup of dried orange peel, and a third cup of cinnamon chips. This tea blend is delicious and has just a hint of orange and cinnamon flavor without it being too overpowering. The second tea blend is beyond simple. Two of my favorite herbs for tea are mint and lemon balm, and they are perfect paired together. When I dry my herbs, I try to keep the leaves intact, which helps to retain more nutrients. But now that I'm putting together this tea blend, I'm just crushing up the leaves to save some space. I oftentimes will mix lemon balm and mint together for teas, so I'm happy to have a pre-mixed blend ready to go, and these will make for a perfect gift paired with a tea ball or a mug.
I hope this video gave you some gift ideas for the holiday season. Beyond these, we often gift a lot of preserves, so if you do as much canning and preserving as I do, take a look through your pantry and put together gift baskets with home canned and handmade items. If you do try any of these, I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you're enjoying a restful holiday season.